I'm a versatile fisherman that enjoys fishing for a variety of species of fish. Some days I'll go shallow water fishing in two to four feet of water for fish like bass and walleye. Other days I'll go five to ten miles out into the Great Lakes and fish water that's over a hundred feet deep in search of Pacific salmon, steelhead and lake trout. When you fish the Great Lakes, to locate those fish in deep water, trolling is one of the best way to find them. But before you start trolling, it really helps to have an idea of where the fish are. So that's where I rely on my fish finder to either locate individual fish or to locate bait fish. Once I locate a productive area where I believe fish are gonna be feeding, I take out my trolling gear, my counter reels and trolling rods and the different devices that I'm gonna to use to get down to where the fish are. I find that one of the most dependable lures to use is a Great Lake spoon or a fluttering spoon, like the Matrix spoon. These spoons are ideal because they're very light metal and they're designed to track and to flutter behind a diving device or right behind a cannonball if you're fishing with a downrigger. A good Great Lake spoon will have just the right wobble and flash and it'll also be the right width and the right length to resemble the bait fish that the salmon, steelhead and lake trout are feeding on. I have great success trolling the matrix spoon between two to three miles an hour for salmon and steelhead. But when I'm targeting lake trout that are closer to the bottom, I prefer to use a slower trolling speed, sometimes between 1.5 and two miles an hour. And a lot of times we'll slowly work the motor into gear and out of gear to get kind of a fluttering action on the spoon, which lake trout really love. When you're using spoons, the spoon color can be critical. I find that using a very bright spoon works really good under low light condition or when you're dealing with broken surface water like a chop. But if you're fishing in the middle of the day, I try to go with very natural colors. One of my favorite colors is to use one that has a combination of black, some blue, and even some light orange or green. If the fish are aggressive, I find that some of the spoons that come in the UV finish work extremely well because they retain their colors, especially if you're fishing down in depths greater than 50 feet. Great Lake salmon spoons are one of the most effective lures to use, whether you're trolling in shallow or deep water. And if you have a good variety of them, no matter what the conditions are, you'll catch fish.